So when we look at optical fibres, the big advantage in optical fibres is their low attenuation of signal, meaning that for every bit of power you put in, most of it comes out the other end. Attenuation is reduction in signal strength, as you know. How does it happen? They manufacture first up a tube, two high tolerances, or a glass rod to high tolerances. I'll draw it vertically now. So there's our glass rod or glass tube. If it contains any defects, when it's heated up and drawn, any micro cracks or surface cracks, I'm drawing more or less two life scale here, any voids get closed up. So the fibre has got no cracks and no voids because the physical action of drawing out that glass rod into the fibre either aligns the void perfectly or closes it up and just drags those surface cracks out so they just don't exist. So we've got a high strength fibre. I haven't googled the strength of a glass fibre but I imagine it's in the range of around about 1800 megapascals because it doesn't have a defect and it's a brittle and high strength solid. The issue we've got is what if there's a joint? Because even though this might be 25, 30 kilometres long, 300 metres long, you're going to join these two together. Just imagine now a magnifier. Here's a glass fibre, there's the light bouncing along. Then I hit a crack. Of course the light's going to hit that and bounce backwards. That shouldn't be there. So the light comes in, hits a defect, bounces backwards. Not good. When it gets to a joint, of course, that joint's got to be invisible to the light. So there's two ways they do it. Mechanical joint. They have a gel in there that has an identical refractive index to the core of the cable so the light just passes through it. If there's any dust, if there's any surface cracks, if there's any defects on a mechanical joint, you lose a lot of your transmission effectiveness and you have high attenuation. The other way they join the cables is by fusion. They physically, same thing, cut the ends nice and clean, polish nice and clean, put them together and physically melt them together. That gives a better result than a mechanical joint usually. Attenuation in glass fibres, they're two of the macro reasons. The other one is bending. If a fibre is straight, as you know, I'll only draw the inside core, the light reflects. What happens if, however, put a sharp bend in that? Now I'll draw the cladding in. That, of course, will now no longer bend through that. Sometimes, as I hinted at earlier, they actually put a third core on there to try and bend the light back in. So bending causes light loss out of an optical fibre. You want to try and keep your runs as straight as possible.